Avengers, assemble. What is up everyone, Movie Way and back again with another review. Today I'm going to be carrying on my MCU franchise reviews with The Avengers. And this is directed by Josh Whedon and stars Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Mark Ruffalo, Scarlett Johansson and Jeremy Renner. Now I do talk spoilers in these cinema revisited episodes, so that is your heads up right there. So let's get into it. Now this tells the story of the Avengers teaming up for the first time in order to tackle Loki and his army from taking over Earth. Well who remembers way back in 2012 when this kind of made history having all these superheroes on the screen together and it's kind of small in comparison to what the MCU franchise gives us these days but this was a pretty big film back then and on some levels compared to a lot of other films still is and I remember really liking this so does it hold up? Let's find out. Now this film has a lot of things going for it, especially The Last Hour, which is just absolutely brilliant. But I thought it was a really good idea, story-wise, to have Loki and his army try and take over everything because it seemed like a much bigger threat to humanity than what we're usually accustomed to from the MCU franchise, up to this point anyway. And for these superheroes all to come together and be much stronger, form this alliance, just made sense this time around. Now there is a lot of group progression here and a lot of connecting the dots in order to make this movie work and there's a lot of hello how are you's and disagreements between our main heroes if you like and for me personally I do feel like it felt very slow paced at times. Now the first half of this film isn't bad or anything but I just remember thinking this is above Iron Man 2 but not quite at the levels of Iron Man 1. I just found it kind of average, if you like, and a bit of a slow burn. And there were some aspects that weren't working for me either. Like, we were just getting to know Jeremy Renner's character, Hawkeye, and Loki sort of possesses him and just drags him away. And I just thought it was complicating things a little bit. I mean, it's not a major negative or anything, but just things like that weren't really doing it for me. So those are some mixed moments for me as well, especially these arguments that our superheroes get into. Some of them are really funny, like Iron Man just calling Thor point break or Captain America, old man, even though he's probably younger than him. <laughs> but at the same time, I was just like, oh, this is tit for tat, petty squabbles. And I just wanted them to get together and take Loki on. And as a viewer, it was kind of hard to watch and sit through. It was just frustrating, really. Now another mixed scene for me was the forest battle between Thor and Iron Man. Now, it's like the arguments. It was just uncomfortable to watch, especially because I like both of these characters so much. And Captain America comes in at the end. And it was good to have that rock, paper, scissors dynamic. But again, as a viewer, I just wanted these guys to move on. It was a scene that just didn't really hit all the right notes for me, I'm afraid. And the first half as well doesn't really feel too much like an Avengers film. Now I get they've got to be broken up, all these characters, to make it all work, to come together again. But the second half definitely does, and it is absolutely exceptional. Now upon my rewatches of this MCU franchise, the second half of this movie is the most fun I've had with all of them. Even from the Battle of New York building up to it actually happened, all the way to the end. Every single second of it was screen beauty and it just reminds you why you love movies so much in the first place. Now I will get into that in a minute but I just want to point out some of my favourite scenes in the first half as well because it wasn't all bad, especially the interrogation scene with Black Widow. Now she's held hostage by a bunch of bad guys and you think she's really in trouble here but she is just acting like a decoy in order to get information out of them. So she's tied up but it's really here doing the the opposite way round and agent phil colson phones her and she's just kicking ass <laughs> while she's on the phone and i just thought that was a really clever scene actually and i'm not going to be honest black widow in this movie played by scarlett johansson was my favorite superhero of the entire film it was good to see samuel L. jackson a lot more in this movie as well i mean he's only in little scenes here and there from the past few films but he's a lot more involved in this one and i just can't get enough of the guy He's one of my favourite actors of all time, so to see him a lot more in this movie was a big plus for me. But like I said, this movie does shine in the last hour. And just before all that happens, there's a good little pieces of dialogue exchange between Loki and Iron Man. And Loki says, I have an army. 
And Iron Man just says, we have a Hulk. And I was just like, yeah, that's a really good answer there. And this is all just before the action kicks off. And when it did, I didn't want it to stop. Now, The Battle of New York is some of the best filmmaking I have ever seen. I mean, say what you want about Josh Whedon, man, but... This is absolutely incredible to watch. I mean, just every single action set piece was well thought out. The fight scenes were brilliant. And just seeing Hawkeye just fire this arrow and we follow it through all these battles going on and stuff in the middle of New York was just breathtaking to me. I I, I watched this in 4K on Disney+. Plus. I know i got the Blu-ray there behind me, but it was just absolutely stunning to see. It really was. It was a visual treat for the eyes. About halfway through the battle as well, these heroes all come together on the ground and just form into this circle. And it's becoming a bit of a historic moment now in movie history. Because we've seen it so many times, that still image. And when they do and they all come together for the first time, the score kicks in, which is just fantastic in this movie, by the way. You know, that Avengers score by now. It's just epic. It really is. Just absolutely epicness. Some of my favourite moments in these scenes as well just involve Loki getting his ass kicked. I mean, <laughs> there's a moment where the Incredible Hulk just picks him up by the leg and just starts smashing him into every bit of concrete. <laughs> Tony Stark did warn you there, Loki, let's be honest. And there's also a moment where Hawkeye fires an arrow and Loki catches it, only for him to look at it and grin and then realise it's an explosive arrow. <laughs> I think I just jumped out my seat and clapped my TV screen because I had no memory of that happening. I couldn't remember. And when I seen it again, it was just brilliant. I mean, it's comedy within brilliant action set piece. It's absolutely genius. To top it off, there's a fantastic ending here with the Avengers just going their separate ways. And we overhear Nick Fury saying, if we need them again, they'll come. And it's kind of just saying, yeah. There is a lot more to come, and we know it by now these days, don't we? I mean, there's been so many films after this. I mean, as much as I had fun with this film, it may feel like a prototype to others compared to Endgame and Infinity War. And in some ways, kind of is once you've seen them films. I mean, Captain America's suit looked like it was stitched together by my nan. <laughs> and there's some green screen issues as well. I mean, as well as Hawkeye's arrows, they really don't look amazing when zoomed in on. But this was very, very early days and I'm willing to put all that to one side because it still looked absolutely incredible at times. All in all, I really did love this film. I mean, it has great dialogue, great characters who we all know and love by now and an excellent story to make an Avengers film out of. It was an ambitious, ambitious movie at the time. Boy, did it pay off. I'm just going to go ahead and rate this movie now. I'm going to give Avengers Assemble an 8.5 out of 10. Absolutely fabulous comic book hero that will be watched many, many times by lots of people for years to come. Now, at the end of these reviews, I always like to leave a little fun fact. Now, a fun fact for the Avengers is that the cast were hardly ever together on set. And one day they were all in town at the same time. And Chris Evans sent a message in a group chat just before a night out saying, Avengers assemble. And Clark Gregg said it was the best text message I ever received. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Next up we have Iron Man 3. If you want to check out any of my MCU reviews, the playlist will be down below. I'm going to be going through all of them, all the way up to the new Black Widow movie, and then ranking them at the end before Phase 4 starts. If you want to subscribe, it's up to yourself. And if you want to comment about the Avengers or the MCU in general, leave it down below. I'll try and get back to every single one of you, I promise. Take it all easy guys. I'll see you all in the next video.